848 on this Tuesday morning. Can lend some slight expertise to the weather, I guess. Uh, as we are talking about, of course, uh, you know, all the heavy rains that at least, the very least, far southern Oklahoma, southwestern Oklahoma got drenched over the weekend. They desperately needed it. I know that system really didn't help us out in green country as far as widespread rains go, but far southern Oklahoma needed it. Having said all of that, that doesn't end the drought, but it certainly helps. There are still a lot of burn bans in place across especially the southern half of the state. And even if some uh, counties here in green country are still going to have burn bans going right now, of course, since we didn't get a whole lot of rain out of that uh, system. I uh, mean, we need more. It's just this time of year, it's, it's hard to really make a big dent in the drought coming into late summer. So that's why we're hoping as we start to transition into early fall, get a more active pattern going that hopefully we can kind of turn the tide on that eventually. Tulsa International Airport, clouds hanging in from Tulsa to the north, but then uh, Tulsa to the south, excuse me, but then further to the north, Bartlesville, you've got sunshine again this morning, and uh, that's kind of how it's been the last couple of days. Sunnier north, cloudier south, and that's going to be the drill again today. Uh, Bartlesville, you're now in the low 70s, rebounding from the morning low. Okmulgee, upper 70s. McAllister, you fall up mid-70s where you've had the clouds hanging around. So we'll go so for 74 here in Tulsa at the uh, 9 o'clock hour, just a few minutes away, 86 at lunchtime with an east-northeast breeze, a, a warm lunchtime hour. Little toasty for the afternoon, high of 92. That is right where we're supposed to be for this time of year from that kind of average uh, normal high standpoint. Once again, there's that slim chance for a pop-up shower to primarily in southeastern Oklahoma, generally I-40 to the south this afternoon, those little east to west moving brief showers. Enough cloud cover that once again today, we're gonna have 80s to the south around McAllister and uh, Hartshorn and Eufaula and Stigler, Wilberton, Salas, all those areas. And then low 90s around the metro up towards Venita and Miami and Coffeyville, Pawnee and Pawhuska. Uh, by this evening, once we lose daytime heating, those little pop-up showers go away. Tomorrow morning should be comfortable once again. We're looking at 60s almost area-wide. And I think southeastern Oklahoma, you'll finally start to get some clearing. So your temperatures tomorrow morning should be a little bit cooler than the past few days. Tomorrow, we're still just on the very northern edge of that departing storm system. Might try to spit out one or two more showers in extreme southeastern Oklahoma. But more or less, that system starts to move away. Thursday and Friday, the heat cranks up, just a few clouds, and then I'm just jumping ahead here later in the weekend. By Saturday night, we start to see some storms developing, at least the way the pattern's setting up right now, across Kansas. A few of those could be stronger storms. And then by the second half of the weekend and into the first half of next week, the pattern gets a little more unsettled for us here in green country yet again. So temperatures slowly climbing this week, but We'll keep it in what I'd say reasonable uh, range for late August, mid 90s by Thursday and Friday, Saturday mid 90s as well, slight chance for shower. And then those storm chances start to increase a little more Sunday into Monday. And once again, that should trim our temperatures back a little bit by uh, early next week.